Kay Smith and I founded the Galileo movement with the prime objective to totally get rid of the carbon dioxide tax legislation package and also to promote the factual demolition of the anthropogenic global warming scam. The entire Galileo movement team care deeply about both our country and the environment and as those of you who have read Malcolm Roberts documents and Paul Evans twittering, I'm sure that you'll agree that the Galileo movement has been fastidious in their campaign to speak the truth and ensure that what is published is factual. In recognising that our campaign would be contentious, we expected to be attacked by the alarmists, but never did we imagine the level of behaviour to which our opponents would sink with their lies and smears in attempting to discredit the Galileo movement and silence us. However, the Sydney Morning Herald's Mike Carlton really hit the bottom of the birdcage when without any research, he played the totally unjustified anti-Semitic card. With Case having lost grandparents in the Holocaust, and as my wife Suzanne will explain later, the accusation of the Galileo movement being anti-Semitic is an insult to us far greater than I am sure these insensitive journos appreciate. To them I say, just look and listen to what damage your thoughtless, unresearched comments can do. I'm a proud member of the Galileo team and a passionate advocate of free speech, being a Holocaust survivor. My mother and I were smuggled out of a ghetto in Hungary just one day before our deportation to Auschwitz. However, my grandparents and many members of my family went straight to the gas ch chambers. As well, my father was tortured by the Gestapo in a labour camp. As evidence of our horror of anti-Semitism, John and I have our name up on the honour board as contributors in the Holocaust Museum in Sydney. With this background, does Ben Cubby and Mike Carlton of the Fairfax Press think that by any stretch of the imagination, I and the Galileo team would have an association with anyone who's anti-Semitic. Mean-spirited and spiteful journalists have no concept and don't care about the damage they cause. After the war, my family escaped from the Communists, as my father questioned the party line. Having these two ethically challenged journalists attacking our integrity gives me a feeling that they've learnt their lesson well from totalitarian propaganda. I'm a strong woman, but I've been having recurring nightmares. And I wake up crying in the night as a result of this disgusting, unfounded attack on our integrity. Mike Carlton and Ben Cubby, if you have any sense of decency, look in the mirror and be ashamed of what you've done. This message is brought to you by the Galileo Movement. For more information or to support this message, go to Galileo Movement.